Welcome to This Week in Gato, where we take a look at the interesting, the awesome, and the weird things being developed this week in the Gato engine. And let me know in the comments which project featured this week is your favorite. Let the countdown begin. Number eight. Step back in time to the pre-Technicolor cartoons with spiders everywhere. This little 2D side scroller from Soku and in Ink features a little baby and lots of spiders. With entirely hand-drawn art and animations, Spiders Everywhere's visual style immediately grabs your attention. Help little baby avoid or destroy all the spiders with his... Um, yeah. It's free to play and features two challenging levels with randomly generated enemies, meaning each playthrough is a different experience. Number 7 Looking for a relaxing city-building sandbox with an added cuteness factor? Gordlets from Auntie Games features a simple gameplay design of build, grow, and relax. No objectives, no points, just build. Watch as the population of your town grows and Gordlets begin to interact and live in the city you create. Gordlets features a very aesthetic visual style and looks to be a great way to sit down and relax with another game built in the Gato engine. Number 6 For anyone who remembers the old Descent series, Check out Outer Space War Gears, a six degree of freedom space shooter featuring a mix of simulation and fiction. Take your gunship and fight off rogue AI systems as part of the corporation while enjoying accurate maneuvering and movement. Number five. Dig up or dig down in Dwarven Skykeep, a pixel art strategy game set in a medieval world of wizardry. Developed by Hack the Publisher, Dwarven Skykeep lets players build towers using decks of cards. Create spells, weapons, and order your Dwarven followers to protect your stronghold from the elements, enemies, and enormous bosses. Collect more cards as you play and build the right deck for each level. Number 4 Looking for a way to generate nearly infinite terrain in Gato? Check out Ditsy Ninja's tutorial showing how he created this terrain in Gato. Using height map and vertex shader adjustments, the terrain generates procedurally with sample noise. Be sure to check out this video and other tutorials by Ditsy Ninja on his YouTube channel. Number three. Sitting at number three is a slightly different project from Schaefer Nishimura Lab. What if you could create a VR headset for mice to study their ability to learn and remember different environments? With a Raspberry Pi 4, some wholesale watch displays, and Gato, you can. Created as part of a research study to explore Alzheimer's disease in mice, the design features a spherical treadmill, mounted VR headset, and of course, runs on the Gato engine. You can find more information on the project GitHub. Number two. The Gato 4 updates just keep coming. The movie maker mode makes its arrival in Gato 4 and promises to let developers record non-real-time video and audio from any 2D or 3D source. Record game trailers, cutscenes, and procedurally generated animations. While live game footage is still best done with a screen recorder, the Movie Maker mode gives developers more options in creating animated visuals in the Gato engine. Number 1 In Red Aran, you play as a giant, ravaging monster trying to destroy the city before the military stops you. Inspired by the classic Rampage series, Redoran lets you explore your inner Godzilla and is free to download and play. And for any Gato developers, the source code is also available so you can create your own unique version of Redoran yourself. For more cool projects being done in Gato, be sure to check out this video here. And I'll be back next week with another This Week in Gato.